Welcome to ColossalCon number 18 in the year 2019. We will mess that up. That's really confusing. Oh, very confusing. They How's everybody's convention so far? I think like in the middle on the right, they're just dead. They didn't there's, care. there's one guy right here who is so excited that he's glowing. Yeah, stand yes. up. Let everyone bask in the radiance. It's excellent. I've never seen someone effectively cosplay as a highlighter before. Thank you so much. Here's a tear in my eye. So, I'm back again. I was here last year, but not feeling very well. He was a little stiff last year. Yes. So, I'm a little bit more animated this year. I'm quite excited to be returning again. Uh, so, we're going to move on. Yes, yeah, so, uh, before we get things uh, started, first of all, introdu introductions. Uh, for those of you who weren't here last year or missed him last year, uh, this is Jim. Most of you know him as Volks. <laughs> this is Zach. Many of you know him as Stripper Vash. Before we start, no. <laughs> so we do have a very important message that we just need to say before we get into all of the skits and our walk-ons. As many of you have noticed, this convention is located in the Midwest at the beginning of June, which usually means you're in a bad place. Really consistent thing: storms, tornadoes, yes. maybe rain, wind. Thunderbolts, lightning, very, very frightening. Yes. So, it's entirely likely that at some point... No, no, no. Not entirely likely. It is highly unlikely. There is a 100% chance that tonight... 0% chance. Should we lose power? Honestly, that's an appropriate response. Don't panic. Embrace it. Stay where you are. Yes. Please do not turn this into a panic room of death. <laughs> if the power goes out, it will come back, unlike many of your fathers. So, that was unnecessarily hard. That was incredibly unnecessary, and I'm so sorry this early. My God. All right, so you're, that's it, you're done. All right, thank you so much for having me. Good night. We will. I got a lot louder. Yeah, that happens when I leave. We will now move on to the skit portion. Up first, we have Dueling Roses Cosplay. Princes, princesses, witches, and true love, all key ingredients to a classic fairy tale. The story is predictable. The characters bound to the rose that destiny has chosen for them. But is destiny really that unyielding? Is a true love possible when the story falls apart? Hmm. Let's find out. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did, Did you, you hear? hear? Once upon a time, there was a little girl who grew up to be a noble prince. She met a beautiful princess, and the two fell in love. One day, the princess was taken captive, whisked away to a far-off tower. Many tried to save her, but all were defeated. It was revealed that the princess had assumed her destiny, transforming into a wicked witch, luring the foolish into her trap. The prince, it turns out, was destined to defeat her. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Is it possible to break free from destiny?
That's the best I can do. Maximum effort. We should actually probably do the thing, too. Ah, yes. Uh, true love. Dancing, kissing, sword fights to the death. Jeez. Pretty quick transition there from about to kill to falling in love. All it takes is a costume change. That's literally the only difference between the two. Let's try this out. All right? I hate you. Nothing's new there. Let's see if my opinion changes. Okay. I actually hate you more. Pick I'm done. Stuff, please. Thank you. Okay. 